I have created my own book tag. I feel like I'm finally contributing to the whole booktube thing. So hello, welcome. If you're new, I am a huge fan of Mark Gatiss. So we're going to be combining two things I love, books and Mark Gatiss. So this is the Mark Gatiss book tag. Question one. Mark plays Mycroft, a very smart and imposing character. What character similar to this is your favourite? I'm gonna go with O'Brien, that guy from 1984, because, ooh, <laughs> he, oh, yeah. I guess, like, in a way he is smart, like, not smart, like, Mycroft brain power kind of smart, but cunning kind of smart, I guess. Question two. Mark was born in 1966. What older book is one of your faves? I am going with A Clockwork Orange for this one, because I really liked that book. Like, when I talked about it in my wrap-up, I maybe didn't sound that enthusiastic about it but when we started studying it and I started looking at it deeper than just like surface level I was like holy crap this book is so good I love it and that was released in 1962 which is definitely older than me <laughs> number three Mark has a husband named Ian what is the best canon couple and I'm saying canon because Mark and Ian are canon even though they're a real life couple and that word is weird for that. Anyway, I actually really struggled to answer this question because I realised I haven't read that many books that have a relationship that's super prominent and therefore sticks in my mind. I can think of like The Hunger Games and Twilight and what other things have I read with relationships but those relationships I, I didn't like feel amazed by them when I was first reading them so I think I'm gonna have to go with like maybe Harry and Ginny book Harry and Ginny <laughs> I think everyone says that regarding Ginny in the Harry Potter universe <laughs> I don't know I just feel like they'd work really well together but yeah, but yeah I really actually struggled with this question and I think as a result I've realised I need to read more books that have relationships I don't think it counts although I created the tag so it can count if I want it to but I'm currently reading Check Please, or actually I'm not currently reading, I've read it and waiting for updates which is an online webcomic which is really good. Spoilers for Check Please because in the first few comments you don't know who the relationship is. A canon couple in that is Zimbits. <laughs> I've never said that word out loud. Do you ever- you've had a word that like you've said in your head for ages and then you say it out loud for this first time and it's like that doesn't sound real. It's not a real word, but that was really weird. Which is Eric Bittle and Jack Zimmerman. Question number four. Mark has a cute dog named Bunsen, who I have met. <laughs> who is your favourite animal sidekick or just an animal character? Again, the first animal character that came to mind when I thought of this was Hedwig. I mean, Hedwig's good, but I don't think they're my favourite animal. But sticking in the Harry Potter universe, I think I'm going to go with Errol. <laughs> I love d dopey idiot animals. <laughs> That sounds really harsh, but Errol, just funny. Question five. Mark was part of the League of Gentlemen. Who is your favourite trio? Or foursome, because the League of Gentlemen also includes Jeremy, but he's behind the scenes and only writes it. For this question, I'm returning to Harry Potter again. It's gonna be the big main classic trio. Ron, Harry and Hermione. I really like those because they work so well as a group. They've got all different personalities but they click and they kind of like, you know, with each element of them they make one good unit. Question six. The League of Gentlemen was a character filled program. What book do you love because of the characters? A book that just has a huge cast of characters that are all different. I'm gonna go with All of the Above by Juno Dawson because I think that was the first book I read where it had like such a wide variety of different types of people. Number seven. Mark was a huge fan of Sherlock and made the TV show because of it. What book would you turn into a TV show? I'm gonna go with Mark's own book series, which is the Lucifer Box series. There was an attempt to get this into a TV show, so people have already thought of doing it, but it didn't happen. But I would turn that into a TV show because it's like, I think it would just work really well. A historical spy fiction thing, and I think that would be good on TV. And number eight. Mark was a fan of Doctor Who as well, and then he wrote books for it as an adult. So what TV show would you turn into books? Flipping that previous question around. This one I struggled with because a lot of the TV shows I watched, I realised, oh wait, they're already based on books. So I was like, Sherlock, it's a book. Doctor Who, they've got books. And then I was like, oh, call the midwife, based on a book. And then my brain was just like, 
EastEnders. I think it's also because I don't actually watch that much TV anymore, but there's probably some really good TV shows that could work really well as books. But yeah, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and all that stuff. And if you want to do this tag, go ahead. I don't have anyone specific to tag because I don't really know anyone. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if this tag will go anywhere further than my channel because Mark Gatiss is such a specific topic that lots of people probably won't do it, but I don't care. I had fun. Bye. <laughs>